Hey, Auntie, how are you doing? Hello, hello. I'm doing great. Here in Pieksemäki today, meet the boys and practicing new set list to the kicks. Really good. Good yeah. Sunday. Great. Do you have always practicing in the in the Sunday on Sunday? Yeah, usually uh, we are practicing by our own uh, here in Pieksemäki, me and Ville, by two, uh, two times in a week. And uh, other guys are practicing in uh, Jyväskylä by their own. And, and we are meeting uh, uh, once a uh, uh, to one time in uh, two weeks uh, in Sundays, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because we. But we do, yeah, we do a lot of by own practicing. Yeah. Now I have yeah. to ask you because um, your name is Anti, but you have uh, uh, nicknames Andy and uh, Rota. Uh, what's your favorite? Uh, yes. Name. Uh, how do you want people to call you? Uh, well, I don't know. It's same for me, but uh, uh, Taika from Stamina say uh, they they made that uh, Andy. Okay. So maybe Andy is good. Rota is uh, it's early FM two thousand. Oh, uh, me and Cosmo was talking and. It's a Finnish word, uh, rat, rotta, and I, I take one T off, and it's rata. Uh, uh, rotta, when I was younger, I play ice hockey and little guy, but I was very nasty player. Okay. <laughs> so the nick, 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 nickname comes there, uh, rotta. <laughs> no, we we, we have known each other from a while, but I never ask about those nicknames. So this is something new for yeah. me. We, yeah, um, yeah. We met uh, last time, I think it was... Uh, Maybe 2013, yeah. Yeah, uh, in the Mikkeli, System of a Down. Yeah, yeah. And I, do you Maybe. know that I have my... This uh, super zoom camera with me, and I tried to take photos, and the uh, security came to put my camera down. I have this uh, this yeah. memory. Uh, yeah, and we take a photo with you. Uh, so suddenly, Marco Annala uh, walks. Yeah, walks here, and uh, I ask, "Can you take a photo of me and Christine?" Yeah. yeah, it was I nice. Remember. Nice time. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Marco was there. What? Okay, <laughs> I can take. <laughs> yeah, I remember. And I remember once I, I had the interview with uh, with Mokoma. And uh, I asked to Marco, do you remember that he took the photo of me and Andy uh, <laughs> back then in Jurassic Rock? Maybe. I, I don't remember what you answered, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I have met you so, some sometimes before, but I can't remember why or what, something like this. But yeah, okay, <laughs> it's been yes. a while. It's been Mar a while. It's been a while, but yeah. here, here we are again. Yeah. Yeah, I like, <laughs> and then I hope to see you in Pori also at some point. It will be nice. Yeah, yeah. I have to say our. Kick manager at that party. Have been there playing one a while. Yeah. We want to play in party. Yeah. There is nice, nice, nice kicks all, always. Yeah. And now, yeah, it's not, uh, you know, uh, once in party there were, there were many gigs, uh, but then uh, the rock clubs uh, went close and, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, I think that in many places it happened. So there are not any more 
as much gig as uh, there were before. But now there is yeah. this Nara Klubi that is organizing gigs uh, at least one per month. Uh, and they are organizing also a festival called Mono Massive. So they are doing great okay. job for the metal scene. And uh, yeah. are, there are a lot of underground bands. So it's good to, to discover new bands. Uh, and then sometimes there are also uh, a bit of bigger names uh, here and there, uh, so it's uh, it's really nice. Uh, but I hope to to see you at some point here, so yeah, we can have a drink. Of course, uh, uh, we can chat a bit, uh, and I can take photo of you. Yeah, <laughs> because now I'm better. Yeah, yeah. Than when I I saw you the first time, <laughs> it was I think during stamina gig in Tampere at some point, 2009, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah. Maybe, maybe, trying to remember, but I can Maybe. But uh, yeah, let's go yeah. and talk about uh, your band, Afham uh, Kakstuatta, and I just discovered that it's, uh, the, the name means fucking millennium 2000. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you came up with uh, with this name? Ah, uh, it was uh, our first song, and Cosmo take the. Uh, th this is the really good band name. We take only F M and put two thousand. It's weird, but it's a uh, first song, and uh, the band was perform on November, no, October 99. And it was a lot of in a marketplace, all the millennium, millennium shit they selling. So it came for everywhere that they try to sell everything, candles, 2000. And I was thinking about what the fuck you are doing that shit in the next summer. And it was a, that kind of fucking millennium, 2000. Yeah. Because when the millennium, uh, the new year goes on and was a January, everything was the same. So that's that was the, they tried to sell everything. Yeah, by the millennium. It's going to be a and big of course, big. of course they are. Yeah, yeah, of course they do that. Yes, I don't see that millennium in a uh, new year. I was so drunk that I get off and it was my job to do and I do it well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't see, I, I don't see 2000 uh, new year. I was, uh... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's. A, they, I, remember, it's I, no I was good. in. I, I was in uh, Lapland in Ruka, and they made me uh, what they say the burn tattoo my leg. Okay. I was so drunk that I want to take take it. Oh, it was uh, horrible. It so was they uh, so. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really nasty to. Two months after then, that leg. But good memories and good stories. Yeah. <laughs> what can I do? I have to. I have to do things. Yeah. yeah. But it was a cos Cosmo Cosmo take that letters FM two thousand by the first song. Yeah. And uh... and I'm very pr very proud of. Uh, the name history, yeah. Because we are do we are doing same things that bad religion, little politics, and yeah, that kind of yeah, it's nice. And uh, you released seven albums, and now on March your eighth albums is coming and is a uh, Hapo Telly. Uh, I yeah. have heard that uh, it's going to be different. At least I have listened to the first two singles that you released. Uh, but tell more. Can you tell something more about this upcoming album? 
Yes, it was a really uh, interesting make that album because we make uh, all the instruments by the MIDI MIDI sound, uh, uh, drums too. So when I have uh, singing my my vocals to the record, then we change everything uh, out there in my vocals. And it was really in interesting thing. And there was some things that put us to make this way, but uh, it the band is really brave. And I, I'm so proud of my mates that they, okay, we can do this kind of, uh, it's a different FM 2000 make and uh, uh, we like a lot of this this album to make this kind of, it, it uh, really get us uh, fresh, fresh air. Yeah, yeah. Because the demos are really the same, same kind of songs that after, but this make make process was uh, really nice to do. Yeah, and uh, Tuomas Kokko, who's producing, is a master of this kind of music, so it helps a lot. He he take a next step out our level. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Cool. I can't wait to yeah. hear the whole album. And uh, about lyrics, uh, uh, is a kind of co concept album or uh, every song has a uh, own theme? I think they are. Uh, I I think they are like a spider web, that they are, they are alive. Every one has uh, bad times and I have bad times two years ago get divorced and but now I have new life and I'm going good and it's their life so sometimes going bad and but when we get to play with the guys FM2000 then I feel really good. It's part of life, yeah. Yeah, so it's quite personal about the, the album in this way. Uh, I try to, yeah, yeah, the way. Um, but I try to uh, write that it's not only to me that, that or my life, it's for everyone. I try to write that everyone can take pieces of yeah life's going on yeah. but there, yeah. it, it's it's, it's it, yeah this time this album is dark by the lyrics and the music yeah and we were, were making this album this uh corona shit so i don't i don't fright anything about Corona, but of course there was feeling bad. Yeah. Like, like everyone. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, it's a dark album. Uh, different, uh, different time. And, um, a lot of band, uh, find themselves uh, writing during the Corona times, a new album. Yeah. And, uh, the process, uh, was different uh, and also there are a lot of bands that wrote about uh, this uh, they, they, their feelings that they had during the pandemic uh, and uh, the restriction the the staying home because well in Finland it was not as bad as in other countries Yes. We were allowed to go outside uh, without the mask, yeah. uh, but uh, for example, in Italy, I know that people had just uh, they had just a uh, um, certain I, I don't know how many meters they were allowed to walk, and they outside they had always to have the mask on. Uh, 
uh, and then if they had yeah. to go to the store or to the doctor, they had to do the auto certification thing. That being in Finland, yeah. uh, it 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 feels like oh. <laughs> what so it, it was quite different and uh, i was like living even if there was different things going on uh, that uh, we had at work to to have the mask and uh, a lot of places were closed for activities and there were no concert uh, uh, but still outside uh, you were without mask so it i think yeah. It was it was a bit better. <laughs> so, but but uh, yeah, I think that for everyone, uh, the time was uh, was intense, and uh, and we can hear in. Uh, yeah, and I'm 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 sorry, sorry, sorry about the uh, Italians. I, I I read the news, starts of the pandemic. There was a lot of bodies in. Yeah. Italy, I'm uh, sorry. Yeah. But. It was a dark time. Yeah. Uh, here in Finland was maybe easy. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was I I, I because uh, the works go go off like a stamina guys or they are friends. I was sad by them, but now now it's. Yeah, oh, now, it, now <laughs> it's off and uh, everything is back to normal. Uh, still, yeah. I think that the festival and concert are still a bit uh, like uh, over overbooked uh, in, in a way that uh, they agreed with before before Corona that they were booking certain bands. So new mm. bands or uh, other bands that, uh, that would like to play, they have to wait. So I think that it's... Uh, it's still uh, maybe a bit affecting, but uh, we, we are getting off about that. So we are we are on yes. a on, on a good point now. <laughs> yes, let's close the uh, pandemic yeah. here. Yeah, that's yes. Right. But uh, talk talking about uh, your uh, upcoming album, I have uh, yep. heard that uh, there is a uh, about the sound inspiration from a re retro game board. Um, yeah. So, are you a fan of uh, gaming, uh, in particular from the eighties? Uh, yeah, of course. Nintendo eight bit, Mario, Super Mario Bros. Italian Luigi, <laughs> nice Mario, Mario, super. <laughs> and uh, when I was a teenager, I play a lot of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, from the Sega Mega Drive 16 yeah, bit. I did the same. It was uh, Sonic and then it was uh, Donkey Kong. Yeah. They were really big. classic. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yes, it was nice to make that kind of sound. And we are doing that sound uh, to deliver to the live. Okay, nice. It's it's kind of a mix of uh, our live sound and this new sound. It's kind of hybrid. Yeah. 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 So about the concert, so far I have seen that you have uh, one upcoming show in Hivascula, if I remember well. Yeah. Is it, the, is it the release party? Yeah, it's the re release party. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there are uh, other shops coming, I think, but there is nothing yeah. to get out. Uh, do you have also festival coming? Yes, we have. Uh, I can say here this time because the festival wants to say first yeah but sure. yeah yeah we are making few festival concert and uh, starting the club concerts too but i think we are coming to tell uh, in uh, march yeah uh, 
Is it is it March? Yeah. 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 January, February, March. Yes, March. I think then we yeah. t- tell about. But yeah, it's uh late of this this month, one big uh, festival put our name to the internet. We are making we are little uh late of this because we want to make sure that the album is great and then we say yes to the our kick manager and now you can book yeah yeah we are a little late now yeah but now we are coming to concerts and michael many concerts yeah that's great one one two years on yeah yeah nice also for those that never heard of your band uh you sing in Finnish, so and I also suggest every everyone to check out uh, your music because I have nice. been I have been list, listening to your music for many years, and uh, yeah, I suggest everyone to to go and have a check. Uh, go to Spotify and everywhere where you can find the, <laughs> the music. Uh, yeah, or buy also. Are you are you adding yeah, to the yeah. the the CD or uh, um, vi- vinyl coming out or is just a digital album? Uh, it, uh, I think it was now coming CD, but later maybe vinyl too. Maybe in December it's coming. Uh, vinyl album collection, but it's just we are thinking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we are vinyl fans, and we want to our music come final too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's it's better nowadays. You know, with this uh, digital uh, era. Yeah, I I don't know. I, I I listen to Spotify, um, and because of course when I'm on the bus or biking is the the be- the best way to to listen. But still, I like to have the the physical, um, yeah, CD or a vinyl vinyl vinyl. I can't pronounce. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I I think that the. I don't know. I don't know how about uh, what do you think about uh, this digital era? Uh, how the music change? Because I have heard that uh, smaller artist doesn't gain almost nothing from Spotify. So it's, no, no, it's quite sad. No, but uh, yeah, it it have good. Uh, Spotify is that kind of uh, you don't get it any any money there but I use a lot of to Spotify because it's really good tool for me have been always really good tool I have find there really good bands what I can't find it other ways and I, I I use a lot of Spotify. We we was the we were first band in Sakara Records who who music was in Spotify. We ask we want to FM two thousand all music there. And two years after all the Sakara bands came with us. Uh you don't get get it money, but you get you can get people everywhere where in the, the world. Yeah. And yeah, it's kind of, you know, this kind of chicky jolly world, it goes how it goes. 
but yeah. uh, band make make their money these days uh, merging does it's uh, that that is so when you came to the gig I buy always the band uh, t-shirt yeah when I I'm, I'm going because I know no they get that money by the mer merchandise yeah 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 that's true it's important to support the band uh, and buying you know nowadays there, there are not only t-shirt bands are doing uh, much more merchandising stuff so go and buy what they have that can be a mug for example or a pin yeah even, a pin, yeah. even if someone has not much money a pin how much it cost uh, two to five euros so that's yeah yeah a bigger thing to support the band and uh, yeah yeah every every time you know i usually go and take photos and do interviews but if i'm impressed with the band then i yeah. always buy something um so it's uh it's 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 good to to support it's yeah important. everybody should support bands yeah and our merchandise in uh gigs we try the whole band be there so we can meet meet and yeah yeah it's nice to condensize talk yeah. about yeah true and it's nice to see see our our friends and fans there yeah yeah but and it's it, it, it's very important if you it is little little yeah thing yeah. and you are supporting uh, support us it's really important for us yeah true. yeah uh we can see your guitars and bass on the on the back uh so when you play live what what uh, gear do you use uh well now i'm only singing anymore playing guitar on the live but uh ville plays uh Gibson guitars and Fender guitars and use orange amplifiers and Framus cabinet and a lot of pedals I don't know boss or and on and on uh Ipi plays with the Tama Tama drums he has a contract with the Tama. Okay. And uh, yeah, yeah. And um, Jonas, uh, what what guitar he play these days? He has a uh, Les Les Paul and. He has a orange cabinet. Yeah, I use Shure microphone fifty eight. Uh, how long that? Um. Uh, wait. Um. Oh, gosh. Uh, wireless. Wi wireless Shure. Yes. Uh, because. It's so easy to go that way to the to the people. Yeah. I can run it everywhere, and I I always I don't think that I'm going there, but I don't know. I'm going every kick yeah. there. It, it it have been really good microphone for me. Yeah, it came. I use. Before Sennheiser microphones, but uh, when I have been quest on stamina, they put me to sing Sure 58. Yeah. 
and I I like that microphone. I use that, and I have a Boss uh, a pedal for singing many effects, so so I can make uh, like a Sega Mega Drive voices. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That kind of cheer we are using. Uh, Herko has a Fender bass and Squier bass, and he used, I think, it was Mark Boss cabinet and amplifier. Okay. And and he has some kind of nice synth uh, pedals, what make uh, like a yeah good sounds. Yeah, yeah, nice. Can't wait to yeah. see you live then uh, with uh, because I have a, I have saw you live when you were on the guitar. So yeah. <laughs> I th I think that now the show is going to be different. <laughs> yeah, they are really good. The band is really really tough. I it's it's really nice to sing with this band. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm playing. I'm playing every day guitar, bass, making songs, and but I don't play live anymore. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about metal in general. How did you get in uh, metal uh, metal music? Uh, my first big band was a Twisted Sister, in a younger. It came really hard for me and face. I think the song was I Wanna Rock. I see it in uh, oh, oh, my older friend's home and it was scary. And I like that kind of how D. Snyder rhythming the lyrics. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Uh, it was the first, but uh, when I was teenager, the anthrax take me. I liked the. They was not so. Uh, there was a, some kind of uh, punk and trash metal and skating and f having fun. And I can hear it in that music. So Anthrax still is my favorite metal band. Yeah. 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 That kind of, but I, I like every kind of music. I'm a huge Swallow the Sun fan. I like, I don't like many Doom bands, but Swallow the Sun is some kind of, I don't know. It takes me on. Yeah, I always say Every that kind it's, of. Uh, it's not about the genre itself. Uh, sometimes it's about the band or it's about uh, the song or a certain album. When uh, that that yeah. music talks to you, it doesn't matter what uh, genre it is. So yeah, yeah. What what are you listening uh, nowadays? So there is uh, something. Uh, for example, in this last week, what was uh, on your on your list? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I tried to remember what was the so uh, the band names. I get uh, I have uh, uh, younger friends who put me the link. Good new music, but the. Uh, I don't like a lot of metalcore uh, music, but I like Bring Me the Horizon. There is something, uh, they are doing something odd. I don't know, something weird. Uh, and that, that is new for me. But uh, I try to, I have to, uh, I have to see my Spotify list yeah. so I can. <laughs> yeah, you, do, you, do, you names, don't need now to. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's not, it's not okay. a must, but more or less, uh, 
it was <laughs> if there was yeah some, something but the Swedish Swedish guys are making great music every time there comes a lot of good uh heavy punk music and uh good metal and yeah and in France I like Goyera a lot yeah, yeah. And, um, but I, I try to find new bands yeah. every time. Yeah. And uh, there, there is so coming. There, yeah, there is coming really good music. And ha we, we don't have to be worried about that. And in Finland, it's really good, True. good going on. Yeah, good new bands are coming. And yeah. I try to... Band name... It was from Tampere. They have really good, because I I, I can't remember our uh, my own band song's name. I remember only track numbers. The number <laughs> four was really good. <laughs> so sorry, but so sorry about. I can't remember the names, but uh, there are. And yesterday. This is not uh, metal music, but uh, Daniel Jarva and uh, Dark Place, his new, uh, it's the lead singer in first sentence, the first vocalist of sentence. Now he is making like a Nick Cave kind of music, yeah. Daniel Jarva and the Dark Place. It was really nice. Sorry, I'm just dying again. It's not the first. Yes. <laughs> Good. <I> feel like... <laughs> Good, you are dying. Yeah, to it's relive. A, it's a, yeah, I'm it's like, like a I'm, metal music. Yeah, you know, I'm like a Jesus. I die and I resurrect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I, I start yes. to talk about uh, nonsense uh, things. <laughs> let's let's get back. Yeah. To do you remember yeah. what was your first uh, metal gig, the first that you attend? I think it's a local band, uh, Ferox. It's a trash metal band. And I think I was 12 years old when I see it. And uh, it was really nice to see that kind of long hairs and trash metal music in here in PX Makite playing and and Per Kunt from the Kovola it was I don't know I was so young that I don't know that they are from Finland and in Kovola because they then we don't have it then uh, internet so I was so surprising that they are so near, only 200 kilometers by Pieksemäki. And then they came, uh, Virtasalmi Motopark play every Johannes. Mikä on Johannes? Mid middle, middle summer. Middle summer. So in teenager, I go there, see Perkunt. And they was really tough band. Yeah. Yeah. I they think per active, per Yeah. They are active. Yeah, yeah. Nick is playing these days again. Uh, yeah, they are tough. Yeah. They are really, really yeah. hard. Yeah. I like. But younger, I was I was listening like a Twisted Sister and uh Perkut. Yeah. They, they was my band. Yeah. Do Do you have a favorite album? The album that you think is the, you know, the the best metal album in your opinion? The, this is a question that that is so difficult to answer because there are so many. But do you have a favorite one? Uh, can I say Anthrax? Yeah, of course you can say. Ah, uh, yes. I think it's it's so simple that uh, Anthrax Amante Living is best album for me. Yeah, there is 
all that I need. Yeah, yeah. And of, of course, I listen a lot of uh, Twisted Sister Stay Hungry album. It's it's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I have to say, Stamina Uudet Kymmenen Käskyä, niin it's amazing album. Yeah. They have a lot of amazing albums, but that album makes me sick. That what is this music? I can yeah, and I I don't I don't want to uh, know what is going happen. It feels really good for me. Yeah, do you know? Uh, Stamina is uh, um, one of my favorite bands, and yeah. uh, I I was thinking now that back back in time when I. I listened to their music and uh, watched to their video. I didn't, I I didn't know who of them was the singer. At some point, uh, watching a picture, I don't know why, but, <laughs> but I was sure that uh, the picture that I was watching, the singer was Kake. <laughs> Kake. Okay, okay, no, no, this is the drummer. Wait, wait. <laughs> I was, uh, I was confused for a picture, and I don't know why. It's, it, yeah. It, uh, okay. I, I don't know. I had the album and just, I, I don't know why. But that, that, that I still remember that. Yeah. What, why I was thinking that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> My mind was. Yeah. Things. Even if I watched the video, maybe it w- it was supposed to be clear that it was it was Urde the singer, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kake could be a great singer of stamina. By the way, in the Happo ha- uh, Happo Hotel album, there is one track uh, Vino Ataraxia. There are backing vocals with uh, Kaika and Hürde. Okay, nice. So, yeah. are you going to do some gigs with them again? Again? <laughs> I don't know. We don't have talk about that, but uh, always in the round there comes times when we meet or we make that happen. It's so fun and easy and fun and we can remember. I don't know. It it has been always. Stamina guys are same kind of like us, and they they feel like a, like a cousins for us. It's so so easy to be, and so easy play with them, and it's really good combo. Yeah. Stamina and FM 2000. Maybe hope we hope that, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, we be. don't we don't have talk about that. We have talk about a lot of guys, but uh, we don't have to talk about that. But maybe I have to ask. Yeah, why not? What they, w- Yes, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now let's take my jar of random topics. And let's see what okay. we are going to talk today. So All right. This one feels like uh, is a good one. Well, we have social media. So what's your opinion on social media? I know that you are on Facebook. Uh, and are you on uh, Instagram? Uh, I don't have been Instagram two years. Okay. Uh, it when I start uh, make uh, lyrics, the recording my lyrics on the album, I get it off in Instagram that I can make my own anything. Not that I can make uh, good lyrics. Yeah, concentrate. On- but uh, but yeah, but I. Maybe now when Hub Hotel is coming, I come back in Instagram. Maybe I I have in a Facebook, but I I don't be there a lot. Uh, I think uh, 
social media um it's it's good uh it's it's uh helping our band to get information to the, our fans and it's it's really good tool for us i think it's good yeah but i don't use a lot of yeah i i want to be alone <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> You know, I think about uh, always that the new generation they they grow up with uh, with social media, in particular with uh, TikTok and uh, Instagram. And yeah. I think that we were lucky that we we had those fears yes. because uh, it's uh, it's like uh, brainwashing and uh, making yeah. you know, in particular for teenagers, uh, they they. As as teenager, you have a lot of uh, insecurities, and uh, there is a lot going on when you are a teenager. Mm. And nowadays, is even worse. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know. I I feel. That yeah. Going to yes. To make, time issues, make people have more issues, maybe in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think same. We are really lucky, and that the, that uh, social media is really bad. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's I a, feel it's really good and bad at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to be in, be out of not all the time in uh, social media. You have to do things uh i don't have play a lot of uh xbox and uh, playstation after a teenager because when i get to the recording uh demos so i want to every my hour use make music so i i know that i like video games but I want to make music more. Yeah. I, it's more yeah. important. And it's, it's also yeah, more yes. healthy, let's say. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, and that I, I was saying, like, uh, I try to be out of social media because I want to more play guitar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it makes sense. And it's 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 yeah. good. I think that uh, everyone should... Uh, yeah, social media... You should. You, you can use and be active, but not. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, all the time, be. Uh, uh, yeah. To to. It's it's like a tail. It's like a tail. It's like a tail. Yeah. It get it. It gets you. You have to get off there and. Not all the time. Yeah, yeah. There was a moment uh, in my life that I was a lot, a lot of my phone watching yeah. on on Facebook, but, Instagram. But now it got that it's getting uh, like I'm not that much interested anymore because I think it's getting boring. There are sometimes interesting things. Yeah. Everything that is a uh, music related uh, and uh, yeah, but beside that, I don't really care about uh, random food pictures or uh, some someone putting uh, the selfie with uh, a lot of filters on. I don't. It's it's. Yeah. Not, I don't. I don't understand it. Um. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, it always bothered me that I tried yeah. to do photos during gigs, and uh, people don't care about those. But as soon as a lady put a picture of herself, then uh, there mm. are so many likes, and uh, it's yeah. always uh, a bit bothering me <laughs> that. Uh, yeah. but, the world is uh, is like this, so we cannot do much. Yeah. <laughs> Just but don't worry. 
Uh, the internet is kind of your tool and uh, your work. So, yeah. But it's good that you are not always there in yeah. social media. Yeah. But there is no time. So <laughs> when you are at work, yeah. then uh, you have to also clean your your house. Sometimes, sometimes you. <laughs> And uh, then you yeah. have to do food, and uh, then uh, you want to to do some physical activity, and you want to play. So, and yeah. uh, I have to prepare for the interview, so there is not much more time left anymore. <laughs> yeah. Me. Yes. That's true. That's yeah. true. Let's get another another topic. Let's see if we get something something juicy. Cartoons. Um, so. Do you mm. do you like cartoons, animation? Oh, yes, I love it. I love it a lot. Uh, I'm a old uh, Peter Pan. Never grow up. <laughs> yes, I, I. Yeah, yeah. And uh, new next uh, single, our next single, uh, Vaiski. It's cartoon actor, Vaiski Vemmelsäri. Okay. It's kind of cartoon song. Uh, yeah, but yes, I love a lot. I want to see. And these days, uh, cartoons, they are so great. Mu movies, they have been made so great. I love it. I love it, cartoon. What's they your favorite? Great. If you have one, Beavis uh, and Butthead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we grew up <laughs> watching Beavis and Butthead, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's best, but uh, there are a lot of uh, Pablo Pesos Yeah, so SpongeBob. Really, really great. And you know, I Rick went to see no, the. The movie of uh, SpongeBob uh, in the, in the cinema back then I don't remember which year it was. Also, I went to see. I remember about South Park. Um, yes, I was fourteen, yes. and in Italy it was uh, that the kids under fourteen cannot uh, watch that movie, and I was so pr yeah. proud with my. Um, with my uh, identity card, uh, with my ID to go to the cinema and show that I'm 14 and I can see this movie. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, and now we are watching my teenager boy, the Rick and Morty. And yeah. It's really, really great, yeah. good stuff. But I I love I love cartoons really, yes best. Yeah. And I I want I want to make in lyrics like a cartoon words that you can imagine imagine yeah. like a cartoon feelings yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But yeah, now right. let's get to the most important topic of this interview, that is pizza. Do you like pizza? I love Italy pizza. I love, yes. Margarita is my favorite pizza. Okay, so you you go to the basic, uh, but basic, but it's always tasty, Margarita. It's always the, a good... Because choice. it's Ital Italy flag uh, colors. Yeah. Green, white, and uh, red. red. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you are a big uh, it Italy fan, if I remember. Yeah. Well, also about football. <laughs> yes. Today is huge match by Inter Milan and uh, Juventus. I'm a Juventus fan. So Scudetto is making today in the evening and. Uh, yeah. I'm waiting. After our practicing, we are driving here in Pieksemäki and I'm going my man cave and watching Italy. <laughs> yeah. 
I I, I have been never in Italy, but I I'm a huge Italy fan. I love you, the. You have to go to Italy at some point. Also, uh, you know, we were at some point talking how cool it would be to you to play in Italy and still yeah still I'm at at this opinion that. I would like to help certain bands to get there. Yes, but, in Trieste. Yeah, let's let's see if one day I'm able to to manage to help bands to and to 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 connect with someone there and maybe doing yeah Slovenia gigs that yeah could, yeah would be nice. But let's, uh, let's really let's nice. See, let's see if uh, if at some point uh, I'm able to. It's always yeah. in my mind, you know. It's it's been stuck uh, like for many years. Yes, and me, me, me too, me, me too. Uh, in the north of Italy, there I can remember that there are in uh, maybe Bus Home album fans, and yeah. we we were talking about you that uh, two times in Trieste. Uh, in dressed uh, festival that yeah to play play there yeah but hope we can get there play someday yeah but my own I want to go right now <laughs> to the Italy but someday I the go game, there huh? is so yes and I I have been read. There's so many places, the north and south Italy. There's so many places that I want to go. I don't know where I'm going to start, but uh, maybe it's easy to fly to the Milano because yeah. it's not so expensive to go there. Only few forty euros. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can. Yeah. So, so I don't know. It's true. It's true. But, but to to Milan to Bergamo maybe if there is still I think there was a oh. La, Pe, La Penaranta to was it to Bergamo or was it to Verona? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. To, uh, with Ryanair at some point. I don't I don't know if oh. there is anymore. But nice. you could check. You could check because then it's nice. a cheaper. And, um, yes, yes, yes. A bit of what you want it's, to see. Ah, yes. And if you have a time to check flights, you can very cheap to get to, to Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. So, but yeah. Ber let's, Bergamo, let's, yeah. Ber Bergamo, it could be the easy one. Yeah, so, and they're uh, uh, playing the. If you want somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. But talking about pizza, there is there is this uh, um, question that divide the world in two. So, yes. does yes. pineapple belong to pizza? Do you think? Uh, uh, yes, I was talking with uh, my son that, and we were, of course, it's pineapple. Because I love Tropicana pizza too. Okay. And I know that you don't like pineapple yeah, like, to put, but, put in pizza. But everyone can but put I don't, whatever I, they want on pizza. Yeah. So if it's not my pizza, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's okay to put yeah. pineapple to pizza. Yeah. Well, I know, I know what uh, the Italians <laughs> thinking about that. Yeah. So when you go to yes. Italy, don't ask for that. <laughs> no, only Margarita. <laughs> yeah. Best Margarita, Napoli Margarita or Roma's Margarita. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Good. But now let's go to the question that the previous guest. Yeah. Left for you. So the question okay. is, how are you 
how are you making the metal scene better, safer, and more inclusive? Ah, oh, good, good Tough question. One. Tough one, and uh, really good. I think uh, metal crew has this good loyalty this day better than other uh, genres, yes. But it's really, when you are, you are seeing in a, like a Tuska uh, Moss Pit, there are always helping hands. I think metal is good, good going. And I think metal people are trying to get better so I don't think we have no worries about that. How I want to make better, uh, I I try to say or sing more information and help people where I am. I don't know. That's my question. I help there where I walking. Yeah. Yeah. And then I ask you to leave a question for the next guest and it can be whatever you want. Uh, have you been in a Wacken festival and what is the band you want to see there the most? If it's possible, it could be uh, the band. Uh, what is not here in these days? Because my answer is uh, Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Is this is this. Is this a good question or it not? Is. I don't know. It yeah, it's really good. So thank you. <laughs> but nice. uh, we are at the end of this interview. Um, thank you so much for being my guest. It was a pleasure. It was so nice to, to talk with you. Uh, yes. For a long time. Good. Thank you. And um, I hope that everybody enjoy our chat. And uh, would you like to say something to people that are uh, watching or listening this uh, this episode of Metal Pizza? Oh, uh, eat pizza with the pineapple and uh, see the kicks and uh, come to say hello us after kick. And uh, we are really waiting to see and play our show. It's been very pleasure to be here in Interfurva and thank you a lot. Nice to see you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>